solar eclipses headed our way. The Perot Museum and Carnegie Observatories teamed up for a private event today. Astrophysicist known for his work with um, on galaxy groups and so much more. Dr. Uh, John uh, Mulcahy joins us this morning as a uh, Carnegie Deputy of Science. Uh, these, I mean, you're, you're, you're pumped about this. You're excited about oh. these two solar eclipses coming. Oh, absolutely. We've been looking forward to these for a while. The, the big one is really next April. So right. I think people, okay. just to put it in perspective, to, let me remind people a solar eclipse, of course, is when the moon goes in front of the sun and blocks a piece of the sun out. Okay. Um, a total solar eclipse, which is what will happen in April here in Dallas-Fort Worth, is when the moon just exactly covers the sun and it gets pitch black in the middle of the day. It's truly spectacular. Um, and they're exceptionally rare. The last time this happened in Dallas was 1878. Oh, wow. The next because time. Because one happened, yes. but we couldn't really see it. You don't it. see I mean, the really totality. Yeah, yeah. So what really you normally see is, a, normally you see a partial eclipse where it just covers a bit of the sun. So why are we now seeing totality? You just are lucky. It's just the right time. <laughs> huh. And the next time won't be till 2317. So 2317. So I would recommend that people um, take this opportunity on April 8th to go and look at this eclipse. Because it okay. really is that. So the event. first one is in, is in October. So, yes. Yeah, so in October, there will be a partial eclipse here, which October which 14. October but 14. Wait, I mean, it sounds like you're not, that one's really just not as big of a deal. <laughs> no, it it's sounds a, like that one's not as big of a deal. Yeah, well, to be honest, it's not as big <laughs> a deal. Not, okay. However, it's a preview. And so this is okay. a way to get people excited. We'll start learning okay. about the sun, learning why eclipses are interesting. Okay. And so we do hope that people will have this opportunity on the 14th, which is only a couple weeks away. Yeah. A month away, I guess. Uh, and then that will prepare them for the excitement coming in April. Okay, April 8th is the date. Now, you can't just look at That's right. a solar eclipse. That's the right. important thing is to know that you need some special glasses, right? That's right. So why can't you look at it? Well, the sun is very bright. Clearly. <laughs> and so the sun can would, would damage your eyes. I mean, very seriously, we do want people to be very careful. You should never look at the sun directly. Yeah. Um, and so you need special glasses, glasses. that are designed to, to basically block light uh, significantly. Yeah. I mean, I can look at out. our bright, bright, bright lights. You might be able to see those just lights, a little And bit. I can see just a little that bit. That is but right. Yeah. So and you really should not look at them and make sure you, you have some special glasses. You should not. Glasses. So make sure you have special glasses. Okay. Uh, there's information on, on the Pro Museum website about okay. Uh, safety and so people can find out how to get glasses. We are also distributing oh. before April about a million of glasses in this area. So oh, a lot wow. of people will be getting them through that. You know, I feel like we're learning more and and maybe it's not we're learning more and more about space, but I feel like maybe we're seeing better images like with the whole James Webb telescope mm -hmm. and stuff. We're seeing better images. We're uh, and therefore I think learning more or maybe I'm just more interested. No, yeah, that's just great. Yes. Um, I mean, how for you, that's got to be awesome to a be able to see a to be able to see more and learn more, but also to share it too. That's right. It, no, it's a super exciting time. And to be will an they be using that? Like, will they be using like uh, the well, we, like James Webb? Uh, we can't point the, it at the sun. The sun is too bright for James Webb. Oh, God. Um, and so, but uh, James Webb is allowing us to study other stars in detail. And one of the the most exciting things to me about James Webb, um, and. Uh, I was a little kid. I started astronomy when I was like five, and I looked Aww. up at the stars and was inspired. Uh, but I, I really think the next generation is going to be has a great opportunity because they may be the generation that finds life in the universe. And uh. the James Webb <laughs> Space Telescope may be the thing that allows us to do that. It's allowing us to study plants around other stars. And I, I, I suspect in the next couple of decades we'll find life elsewhere, and that's going to be very exciting. Oh, I don't know if I want to be around for that. <laughs> that, may be, that may be too much for some people to take. Okay, so we want to let everyone know because the Perome Museum is partnering um, and doing a, a bunch of different events, as we mentioned. So October 14th is that uh, a celebration of the annual uh, partial eclipse with hands-on activities. They're going to have like outdoor games and safe eclipse encounters uh, and then the great North American eclipse is midday April 8th next year now tickets for that the Pro Museum is not going to release until New Year's Day so you're gonna have to wait for those but we have a link with all the details to the Pro Museum and Carnegie Institute at fox4news.com thanks for coming in thank you for having me I hope to see people it. on the 14th ah that's gonna be exciting <laughs>